guys, Susan here from itsmysustainablelife.com. I am here on a very cold and blustery January day, um, bored. <laughs> so I'm actually going to teach myself today how to a simple applique. I'm making a tote bag um, and I want to do a decorative applique of flowers on the front of my tote bag and maybe something fun on the back. I don't know yet. But we will see. I'm going to link both of the tutorials on how I do this down below so you can follow me along as I teach myself. And so to begin with, you're going to need a template. And for me, I found this great little website, uh, craftpassion.com, where they had some really cute, just fun flowers that I'm going to use. And they provided a free template. So I went ahead and printed this out. Now, typically, when you applique, you would have to do the reversed mirror image of that image. Where these are just simple outlines, you don't really have to do that. So anyway, I printed this out. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to trace these flowers. I'm going to need five petals of each size flower that I choose to do. I need one center for each flower and I need two leaves as well as a stem for each flower that I want to do. So what I want to do is I'm just going to use this heat and bond, uh, which is just a basically an iron on adhesive with a paper uh, top. So you can see the back. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there you go. You can kind of see the shiny. You'll feel them. They're like little bumps on there. That's kind of the adhesive that you'll iron onto fabric and be able to cut it out. So the paper allows for really good tracing, if you will. So I'm going to go ahead and slide this under. When I trace it onto the heat and bond, I don't need to leave seam allowance. What I'm going to do is I'm going to trace right on those lines. And then when I cut them out, that's when I'll add a little bit of extra for when I adhere it onto the fabric, allowing me to cut out the lines themselves. So I'm going to go ahead. I'll take some images of this and I'll add them to the video so you can kind of see the process as I go. Now, when you're making multiples of the same template, for instance, the flower petals or the centers, I found it helpful to actually mark either what it is or the size so that you can not get these confused as you go along. So I find it helpful once I get all of my template pieces cut out from the heat and bond to actually lay them out onto my piece of fabric that's going to eventually be my bag. So I can kind of, if I can get it all in here, I can kind of get an idea of placement and how I want it to look. I found it helpful after I laid all my project out of where I want placement, as I lift them up, to adhere onto the selected material that I'm going to use, I made little tick marks underneath, right underneath. So I'll lift one of these up and kind of do it right in the center of where that's going to be. Just so that I know placement wise on the fabric where I liked the placement, um, because I'm going to have to, once these are the stems and, and everything is ready, to be adhered to this, it needs to be re-ironed, so it's got to be moved. So once I have my templates laid out, it's time to go ahead and get the fabric ready. So I'm going to take my stems, this is the fabric I'm going to use for my stems, and I'm going to take the templates themselves for the stems, and I'm going to adhere that sticky side to the back side of my fabric. Now I'm ready to adhere my templates onto the fabric of choice. So for my stems, I've cho chosen this kind of variegated um, green for the stems. Go according to your um, brand name directions as how to do that. Each brand will have different directions. For the heat and bond, basically, it says right here that there's no steam and it needs to be on heat, medium heat. I lay the bonded paper down so that that sticky side, the bumpy side is laying down. And I don't wanna, you know, 
use up too much of my fabric here. So I'm doing very fairly close because when I cut them out, I'm actually gonna be cutting out on the lines themselves, not in between. So you can lay them fairly close. Now, the, again, the iron's on medium heat. I'm going to be pressing these down and holding for two seconds. I don't want to go back and forth because that's going to move my templates. I want to keep them kind of stable. So I am just pressing down with pretty good firm uh, pressure here uh, onto the fabric, allowing them to adhere. So you can see with just a couple of seconds, they are adhered on there very quickly. So again, paper side up and sticky side or bumpy side of that um, down. And again, you want to put it on the back side of your fabric. So you can see my fabric is, this is the front side, this is the back side. If there's no sides, obviously you don't have to um, worry about that. So paper side up leave the paper on and I am going to cut out these stems along these lines. 